Okay, let's get started then. Yeah. Yeah, um, straight away, the first thing to talk about is the new EP, The Pendulum. Yeah. Um, I was just listening to the title track before we did this uh, video call. It's a really, really cool song. It's, I think with Candlemas, you never get um, any nasty surprises. It's always going to be really good doom metal. And yeah. that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, the song, The Pendulum, was that kind of left over from the writing sessions? Yeah, I, actually, I didn't know about that song till pretty lately before we recorded the album. Uh, so I didn't know about the, the song, Leftovers, uh, when, when I recorded The Door to Doom, actually. Mm. So, and uh, I was surprised when I heard them. I think they're great songs, but... Um, he, he, Leif wasn't, uh, what do you say, he was satisfied about yeah. the way they were at that time. Right. And he wanted to do some small changes and try out my voice and things like that. So, and it turned out well, I think. It's a yeah. so, song full of energy, and I, I really love the song. Yeah, I mean, and not to um, brown those too much, but your voice is incredible still. And, um, you know, I, I was very surprised to see that um, uh, in between Epicus, Dumicus, Medalus and The Door to Doom, yeah. you haven't been on that many recordings. No, uh, I, I I've thought, done a couple, but not that many. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, I know you did the Impulsia project. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I've done a couple of other things too. Been singing uh, as a guest artist on some albums and things like that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I've been actually been into music on a regular basis. But uh, uh, at home, I have a small studio at home, so uh, okay. I've been into music all the way uh, these years, but uh, uh, not not on uh, that very big stages. No, <laughs> which is a shame because like I say your voice is still so powerful. Oh, and I got okay. to see it for myself last year. Last year was the first time I saw Candlemas. I saw you at Grass Pop. Okay. And I was, I was awesome. blown Thank away. You. I was like, this is so good. This is so good. Where's oh, he been? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, good, to hear, good to hear that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. It was, uh, um, I, I actually do. You know, I'm doing the old Messiah songs, uh, and mm. I I really do like the songs. They're awesome yeah. songs. Uh, but you know, I have to push myself, and I I I feel myself sometimes. I sound a bit, what do you say, raspy, mm. or, or that. But uh, it works anyway. <laughs> it does, but uh, yeah. it's it's a, it's a brave challenge because obviously yourself and Messiah have different vocal techniques yeah it's, yeah it's he's a more high pitched singer than i am so yeah and, and he he can sing a lot faster than i used to do right. I'm, i i call myself a slow throat <laughs> uh, that that's uh, i think uh, uh, yeah I, I am pretty slow. I, I have a problem sometimes singing too fast, but uh, I'm trying and trying to do my very best. And I, I think it works. But uh, I know, I know, uh, I think myself that uh, sometimes, you know, I, it distort a bit of distortion, but that's okay in this business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have to Plus, push myself. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Plus, with uh, Candlemas being a doom metal band, it works fine. If it was a uh, thrash metal or something like that, maybe not so much. But no, oh, yeah, I think it adds to the atmosphere a bit more. Mm. <laughs> but um, what's very interesting to me was finding out that the Door to Doom is actually your first album as a full time member of Candlemas. Yeah, I didn't actually, that the first one was you were a session vocalist, basically. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you you know the story. I, I had my own band at that time, and we were pretty uh, su successful. And yeah. uh, and but we were talking about that, uh, Candlemas and I. So so uh, they wanted me to do the album anyway. So yeah. uh, I, I say I, say, I told them that uh, I, I'm happy to help you out if you want me to. Uh, I love to do it, but 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 I, I have to be honest to myself. I have my own 
band right now and it, it's we're doing well and uh, they accepted it yeah so we talked it's, about it and that's the way we did it was that jonah quiz the band you were doing at the time yeah yeah it was yeah we were actually about just about to have a you know to to have a record contract these days is not the same that it was back in the 80s i don't no. know if you know the difference it was pretty big at that time yeah. you know there were funny guys telling you oh i can be your manager and we'll get a record contract and then you had in the end you had to pay him money or pay yeah. money to get the contract but this was a real contract i think it was it was called Electra, the record company. Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately, their Swedish part was actually shut down exactly oh, okay. in the same period when we were about to sign the contract. So he oh. called us up, the guy, and he almost cried and said, I'm sorry, guys, there's nothing I can do. They're shutting down the Swedish part of the company. <laughs> so... It, it ended bad, but you yeah. know, that's the way it is. But Such music a... is still uh, lives on. You shouldn't yeah. give up. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was going to say there. <laughs> um, you nearly rejoined the band at previous times, didn't you? I believe you auditioned after Messiah left the first time. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> As I remember it, it, it wasn't a, an audition. They, they called me up. They were looking for a new singer. Mm -hmm. Asked me if I, if I could come over and do a couple of demos. Yeah. So that was uh, how it was. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if someone thought anything else, uh, but, but that's... Uh, and I said, sure, guys, I'm coming over and do a couple of demos. So uh, I was involved in the thing at that time, too. But uh, it, it, that's the way it was. Okay. Can you come over and help us out with a couple of demos? We're looking for a new singer. And I think in the end, they found Thomas Wikström. Yeah. 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 And right, I yeah. know Thomas, too. And he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, obviously, over the years as well, you've joined Candlemass on stage again. Yeah, do yeah, we've do, done a couple of uh, anniversary stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know, two two thousand and seven or oh, a couple of times, and then we did this seventy tons of metal, two thousand and twelve, if I remember right. Too, oh. I, I, I we did. Uh, I did the gig with uh, Rob Halford, actually. Uh, Rob Halford, sorry, <laughs> Rob Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rob Halford is actually one of my favorite singers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's my. That, that's why I said so. But but, but yeah. we did. Uh, you know, he did that one gig, and I I did the other gig. I did the uh, Epicus at the boat. Yeah. Uh, so 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 we've uh, we we've known each other all these years, but. Uh, we haven't uh, uh, been in contact on a regular basis, but no. you know, within a couple of years, something had, had, had happened. Yeah. So when you uh, returned to the band, I believe most of the door to doom was already written. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> actually, the whole album, close to the whole album, was uh, uh, ready. The, 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 I think they did some uh, guitar changes or something like that. I, I don't know exactly. They did something, uh, uh, some things I know, uh, but uh, the songs, I could hear the songs. And uh, uh, my, you, uh, you know, Mats Levin, he, he, he had already done all the songs, so I heard the songs and yeah, re, re sang it. <laughs> <laughs> In so my way, they think they've already written, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, including the pendulum, or was that something you got no, to work uh, on? Uh, no, uh, I think I, that actually, I, 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 I'm not that involved when they're doing the guitars and things like that. So, I don't know if the pendulum was uh, complete at that time, but I know. <laughs> that the song existed, uh, did exist at that time. 
Mm. Okay. But I don't know seems... if there, there was an, another version than the one uh, I did, but the, the song was written. I know that. And when you were um, approached to join the band and you got to hear The Door to Doom, could you tell that this was going to be a really kind of special album? I mean, I'm not sure if by that point Tony Iommi had already recorded his guest solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. yeah, you know, from the very beginning, everything <laughs> happened very, it was very fast, everything. Yeah. So uh, Mappe called me one day and then I, w- I went to the studio the other day. To I told them I need to hear the songs yeah. to... Uh, to be honest to myself and to you that it suits me and I think the and and I went to the studio the very next day and I heard a, a story of and uh, I don't know the Omega Circle or something like that and uh, uh, and I said yeah I really do like these songs they're great songs uh, can yeah. we start the recording right away and actually so so we did so I, I recorded a couple of lines right away. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I think I had a month to do the whole album. Okay. Yeah. Which is plenty of time, I, I would imagine. Yeah, so yeah. But, but you know, I wasn't and... there every single day. They, mm-hmm. He called me up because, we, you know, we were pretty ordinary people. So yeah. uh, Come down, see you on Wednesday, and we can do one song or maybe two if we're lucky, and then mm. another day, and like that. Okay. Um, you mentioned before that you'd uh, joined the band on stage to perform Epicus Dumicus in full. Um, that's something that I think was supposed to happen again last weekend, but it's been moved to August now. No, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it, yeah, 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 you're talking about the gigs here in Stockholm, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we were, we were supposed to do the Epicus uh, one night and, of course, a couple of other songs too, and then the night, nightfall the next day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how badly have um, the Candlemas plans been affected by the uh, COVID-19? Yeah. Oh, uh, to be honest, pretty bad. We should have been out playing uh, now in April. Uh, yeah. We we, can, we canceled the USA, and the, that, those gigs are put forward a whole a whole year. Yeah. So uh, yeah, right. so we should have uh, had uh, gigs. I think uh, yeah, from April and the year out. So now I think we have something in July, but you never know if that one works. Well, yeah, I mean, already um, Hellfest and Grass Pop and Download, big festivals have said not happening this year. So we don't yeah. know. Do no, no. And, and I understand that. It yeah, of course. could be pretty big business to if they have to cancel it all pretty close in time, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to uh, finish up by asking you how you're spending this downtime, but I found out beforehand that you don't have downtime. You're still working, poor thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working full time every single, not every single day, but uh, yeah. free, of course, free in the weekends. But, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, I have a big family and friends, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I, 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 I have things to do, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't like it. I would rather have been out playing, of course. And uh, of course, yeah. but but you know that's the way it is, and it's the same for everyone. So, yeah. but of course. Yeah. But uh, Johan, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to me today, especially so soon after you've got home from work. I really no, do appreciate no it. No problems, no problems. You're all, you're so polite, uh, all <laughs> of you callers here. So that's, it's not a problem. <laughs> I'm Thanks. happy to. Yeah. Thank you very much for calling me, Oliver. No problem, Johan. Look after yourself. Yeah, you too. Bye now.